Our world is full of being in many worlds. I'm Professor Scott Bug, and in this series, I will explore the many questions we have in the worlds of sciences. From the underwater storms of the Atlantic deep, to the courageous, lush, lively moons of Mercury, to even just like, you know, rocks and things. Today, it's rocks and things on my Marvels of the Science. Now, the truly amazing thing about science is you can categorize everything to make it easier to remember. For example, there are exactly five types of rocks. All right, you have sedimentary, igneous, continental, pituitary, calico, Mexico, edible, wood, and medium. All different in their own way, but all exactly the same. Now, the truly amazing, incredible, marvelous thing about the Earth is that under every rock there's a new mystery. Oh, I know what that is. Now, we all know that the Earth is made of mostly rock. But, did you also know that all rocks are tiny little Earths? The smoothness from water and rivers and deserts and a molten core. In that core, boiling up as hot as the sun's, is the rock's brain. In constant pain under the intense heat and churning of the rock's molten heart. Yet unable to die because, yeah, it's just a rock. Now, because rocks are sentient beings, there are quite a few things you need to do to be extra careful when you fuck. That is a big rock. Oh God, the shit! As you can see, you must be careful of larger rocks, as they have been known to throw themselves at and injure people. In fact, the largest rock we know, the Earth, is constantly throwing itself at us. But because we are on it, it throws itself at itself, which is how the Earth rotates and revolves around the suns. And that, unfortunately, is literally everything we know about the nature of rocks. Everything else, where they come from, what they smell like, remains a curiosity of our mysterious universe. This rock is just like super weird, right? Yeah. What's your deal? We may never know what rocks' deal is, but without them, we know we'd have nothing to stand on. We'd have nothing to sort of toss up casually in the air and catch it like, yeah. Perhaps a large rock from the outwards of space will one day throw itself at us and destroy us all. Perhaps a smaller rock will... I don't know. I can't think of anything. Which is why rocks are five of my marvels of the science. Hey guys, Brendan here. Just reminding you to subscribe to the Crack channel and everything. Hey, I started just like you. You know, but now I get to be an actor, I get to edit some videos, I get to walk the guy's dogs, I get to do laundry, I get to, um, I get to be called the third Katie a lot. Um, I get to uh, have my blood transfused completely uh, for a joke. So, yeah, I get to do... Jesus, Brad, what the fuck are you doing? Brendan, but yeah. Get out of my chair! Sorry. Hey there. Subscribe. Sword! What the fuck are you doing? It's Brendan, actually. Get out! Get out! Brendan. I don't care who you are. Hey. Thanks. Sorry. Subscribe. Dude, correct. Brendan! I'm what sorry. are you doing? <laughs> <laughs>